Hello, how to solve this problem? 5 raised to the power x equals to 5x plus 15. On the right hand side, let's factor 5 out. We have 5 raised to the power x equals to 5 into bracket x plus 3. When we take 5 out, this is what we have left. Then let's divide both sides by 5 in order to remove this 5. Divide this side by 5 and divide this side by 5. Here, 5 cancel 5. And on this side, we can write it again as 5 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to x plus 3. Because on this side, we have 5 raised to the power 1 here. Then from the law of indices, when same base divide, we subtract the power. Then also from the next step, let's divide both sides by 5 raised to the power x minus 1. So divide this side by 5 raised to the power x minus 1 and divide this side by 5 raised to the power x minus 1 such that this side will become 1 and then writing the right hand side first now in another way we can write this one because when we have a over 1 over a raised to the power m can be written as a raised to the power minus m so separating 5 raised to the power x minus 1 and then write it again, we have x plus 3. Then multiply by 5 raised to power minus into bracket x minus 1. Now, equals to 1 because this side is already 1. Then you want to make use of a W lambda function. Let's use this minus to open this bracket and this will become x plus 3 multiply by 5 raised to the power minus x then plus 1 because minus times minus is plus then equals to 1 and then for us to use the w lambda function that we have w a exponent a will be the same thing as a from w lambda function then let's work with that we have minus x here let's try to make this x to have minus and multiply through by minus when we multiply through by minus minus you open this bracket we have minus x then minus 3 multiply by 5 raised to the power minus x plus 1 equals to minus multiply 1 we have minus 1 and the next step we have minus 3 here and what we have here is plus 1 let's make this plus 1 to become minus 3 what we need to add on this power is minus 4 so in the same way we multiply both sides by 5 raised to the power minus 4 and this will become minus x minus 3 multiply by 5 raised to the power minus x plus 1 then multiply by 5 raised to the power minus 4 on this side then equals to also on this side minus 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 4. Then from here, when we add the power, because they have been the same base and they multiply, when we add the power, this side will become minus x minus 3. Then multiply by 5 raised to the power minus x minus 3 now, because plus minus 4, plus 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Then equals to here we can write it as minus 5 raised to the power minus 4. Then from here we have minus x minus 3 and we have minus x minus 3. Now from the W lambda function we have a exponent a. Then let's change this 5 now to have something like exponent. From this relationship, when we have exponent mean a. This can be written as a exponent in a is a in the same way we can write exponent in 5 as equals to 5 so 5 can be written as exponent in 5 then when we write this again now this will become minus x minus 3 multiplied by exponent in 5 multiplied by minus x minus 3 equals to minus 5 raised to the power minus 4 then what is left here to make this power look like the coefficient is ln 5 
Then let's multiply through by lin 5. And uh, when we multiply through by lin 5, this becomes minus x minus 3 multiplied by lin 5 on this side. Then exponent here we can rearrange and write it as minus x minus 3 lin 5. Then on this side, multiply by lin 5 as well. We have minus 5 raised to the power minus 4 times lin 5. And then from here, we already have the power looking like the coefficient. Then we apply the W Lambert function that W A exponent A is equal to A. So when we apply the W function on this side, on this side, we introduce the W function. And equally on this side, introduce the W function on both sides. Then this side will reduce to minus x minus 3 ln 5, then equals to W function of this side. Then let's write this again. We separate minus 1 and then multiply by 5 raised to the power minus 4. Then times ln 5. Then working with the right hand side and write, writing it in another way, we can write 5 raised to the power minus 4 as 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 5. So that, that can be written as minus 5 because of this minus, then times 5 raised to the power minus 5 now because it's 1. 1 minus 5, that's minus 4, then times ln 5. So this W function here. Then from here, we can separate this as minus 5 ln 5, then multiply by 5 raised to the power minus 5. So we have W function of minus 5 ln 5, multiply by 5 raised to the power minus 5, then also we can change this 5 to another way and write it as exponent ln 5. Exponent ln 5 is same thing as 5. And by the time we put this here on this side, this becomes W function of minus 5 ln 5, then exponent ln 5, same thing as 5 now. Then multiply by minus 5 in the power there. Then when we consider the power here, the same thing as minus 5 ln 5. And we have minus 5 ln 5. And then for the W function, W lambda function, we have W A exponent A is A. Power and the coefficient are equal. Then also the power and the coefficient A are equal. So this can be or to be equals to simply this is equals to minus 5 ln 5 and uh, when we equate this to the right hand side which is minus x minus 3 ln 5 from here ln 5 we cancel out we divide through by ln 5 it cancel out and then uh, we equate the coefficient which is minus x minus 3 equals to minus 5 and when we solve for x here let's take minus 3 here become plus so we can say this is from here we can say this will become minus x equals to minus 5 plus 3 that's minus 2 then multiply through by minus then minus cancel minus that means x equals to 2 so 2 here is the solution to this problem. We can put this in the equation to confirm whether the solution satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. Also subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on any of our uploads. See you in the next class and bye for now.